Hello everyone. So I'm just going to read one paragraph from a Sydney Morning Herald article which I'll also link. Uh, the big banks have lobbed an application into Fair Work Australia asking that the definition of ordinary working hours be extended to include Saturday afternoons and Sundays. Now they lodged this application recently but apparently it wasn't an April Fool's joke unfortunately. Um, what that said is they're trying to get rid of weekends. Weekends won't be overpay, overtime pay, they won't have any special status. Uh, well, half of Saturday will, thanks. Um, for now. Uh, so they're basically trying to abolish the weekend in Australia. Um, banks are. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, I don't know, I don't think there's a lot of outrage about this yet. I hope there will be. I don't know how much of a chance they have of getting this passed. I hope they will fail, but you never know. Um, but, you know, people might think, oh, well, my employer won't do that, um, and I'm not going to sign up to do work weekends. But, of course, the fact is that if your employee, uh, if your employer says you're going to work weekends, then you're going to work weekends, especially once that is the new norm and everyone works weekends um, and then even complaining about it will seem silly because after all everyone else is you know everyone else is working uh, 55 hour weeks and working weekends what are you a lazy a lazy git or some kind of a communist if we get if we loosen this legislation uh, employees in supposedly in theory they have all this bargaining power empirically we can see on the ground that they have none and they're going to lose all of these fights and they will be working weekends um, and now it's half a Saturday that they still have off they have the morning off they can actually sleep in one day of the week they'll lose that as well don't worry about it um, and you know why not as this article says why stop there there's all of these pesky holidays we could get rid of those as well. Why don't we just let the employees decide whether they want to observe that holiday or not? We don't need to protect it. And then, of course, your boss will come in and say, you're working. And then you're going to say, okay, boss, because otherwise I'll get fired and I won't be able to support myself or my family. Um, and this is the other thing about this. If this goes through, that means that people will not have the same day off Let, let's say they still probably get a day or something off um, by the way why the banks say this should happen is because they need additional flexibility whenever your employer says they need flexibility that means you're gonna get screwed really badly because the kind of employee they want is like a professional yoga master like someone that they can just take and they can just bend them and squeeze them and just tear at them and they'll be they'll be great they'll be happy going oh i love being flexible like this you can just you know twist my head around 360 degrees i'm fine that's the kind of uh, flexibility that employers really want from their employees and that they're trying to get with this this flexibility means that you know probably you'll get a day off but it's not going to be on the weekend for a lot of people because your employer probably wants people to work all throughout the week so you probably won't be able to coordinate your day off with the day off that your wife or your husband has with the school day off that your children have. What's the result? Well, that tiny little bit of family time, gone. Gonzo. Nothing. Uh, in the last couple of decades, um, you know, you can. there's lots of different things to be said about this. But certainly one negative effect of um, women entering the workforce, I think it's a good thing. I think it would be a good thing if that means that the workload was shared between the parents and both parents could spend time at home parenting. But of course, that's not the case. Instead, you have both parents working full-time jobs and not really having any time for the children except on the weekend. And so this would then get rid of that weekend that they still might actually see their children on and not be so tired that they pass out. Um, and 
you know, conservatives are always so gung ho about capitalism and all of that good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's doing amazing stuff for families. The Latchkey Kid. I mean, this is going to be Latchkey Kid level. Uh, you know, ten to the power of ten. Uh, they they might not even see their parents anymore for most of their lives until they retire at the age of ninety. Um, so fascinating stuff. I really hope it doesn't go through, but if it doesn't, then you can bet that they're going to keep trying, and they have the money, so they can be very persistent. And one day, you know, they'll get the right government, people won't be paying attention because something just happened, they'll slip it in, and then it'll, it'll start slowly, uh, you know, one or two businesses, nobody wants to raise big waves, and ten years later, everyone will be working weekends, and, you know. 50 hour weeks and all of that fun stuff brave new world indeed